Hello and welcome. Thank you for checking out this video. My name is Rochelle. The brand that I created online is called the DIY Affiliate. And this is also part of the DIY Affiliate Marketing. For the people who don't know me, I can help you as a new entrepreneur, a new affiliate marketer, or just the average person who wants to start and grow your business online. I do step-by-step -step video tutorials that you can follow along with on WordPress, YouTube, and other social media platforms. Are you looking for the quickest, easiest, and most cost-efficient way to start and grow an online marketing business? There are so many choices, but you really don't know where to start. If that is what you are looking for, then you have arrived at the right channel at the right time. This channel is for the beginners. Is an introduction to a new system that I found online. I do tons and tons of research, and I have discovered that the new trend and what is going to help you to be able to build your business online is doing these type of videos. For the people who don't want to be seen on camera, don't want to have to use a mic, don't want to have to worry about lighting or doing the endless hours of editing, and it does take sometimes hours to create a video. This is an easier and most cost-efficient way, as well as being faster, once you learn how to do it. In this video, video is about the media, is about adding your videos and images. So, without further ado, just the facts, let's get down to business. We are inside of the in-video dashboard. We are here, what you call the storyboard. Over here is your elements that you can see. The second one down is your media. When you open your media, you will see videos and images. There are a couple of ways that you can find the videos that you would like. You can type in the keyword, as I've done here, and the AI will look for videos that correspond to your keyword. Another way you can find videos and images. You can also find images by typing in your keyword. You can also highlight in your text here and you will see highlight and search for media. If you choose a search for media, it will then search for your keywords. And as you can see, it didn't find that. So I'm just going to type in, make sure that I've got the right keyword there. And it will bring up images and video for your keywords. You can also click into your edit. in which you will see the edit scene come up. Here you can do the same thing. But this is more advanced because here you can do a your image edit, you could do an image resizing, or you could do an image animation. You will find your videos and your images down here in the elements. So here we have a video and we also have an image. Whenever you click into either your video or you click into your image, 
you can see that it will appear over here under this panel. So this is the video right here. And here, since I've clicked into the video, now you can see that I can edit my video. I can change the playback speed. I can do video resizing or video animation. This is where all of your media for your video and your images are found in your media. Just going to go back into the storyboard. Okay. Now the way to choose your images is to simply make sure that you have the open hand, mouse over the image, left click, you will see the hand grab, hold your mouse key down and drag your image over. The same for your videos. Mouse over your video, grab your video and drag it over. For a video, you will notice it says loading the trimmer. Here, you can decide on how long your video is going to run for. It shows you what the video looks like. And how long it runs for. On the average, you want to have a scene about 7 seconds to 10 seconds. And here it will tell you your time. You can also increase your playback speed. So instead of it being the regular speed, you can make it go faster. Or you could slow it down. You can also decide on where in the scene does the video start. You could start it right at the beginning or you could start it a little further into your own video. And then when you are done, you would just click done. The picture that appears here is the picture that you will see on the top. These other are there, but you can use them in different ways. Just by simply clicking into each picture, you will see it change. You can decide on how and what pictures or images that you would like to see in your scene. This is the first scene. You would then go through all of your scenes and you would choose pictures or videos that you would like to see in your scene. When you go into the edit, this is where you can further edit your images and your videos. Here you see scene media. If you do a drop down from the, the drop down menu, you can see the layers of all of your media. The media that we are talking about today is the videos and the images. Choose to move, say, image four to the up one to where the video slot is then you will see that that changes. You will also notice this here. Sorry. You will notice down here in your elements you will notice this. This is locked. This means you cannot edit. As you mouse over you can see you can unlock something by clicking on the unlock. You can also lock something by clicking on the lock as well. 
Now, when you have locked something, you cannot edit it. For instance, this video here, if I lock this video, then that means I can't do anything with it because it's locked. And until I unlock it is the only time that I will be able to do anything with the video. To further edit anything, you can use your canvas here to click on it. For instance, this is the video and you will see you can edit the video using the vid ed edit. You can also edit the playback speed and also the video resizing options. So these are your options. You can fit with a blur, fit with a transparent, crop to the screen, or stretch to the screen. Those are your options for your video and also your video animation. So right now I have no video animation. If I choose to have any video animation, then this will be here, inside here, will be my choice. And say it shows you what the video will do, how it will come in, where it comes from, and say I chose the video coming down. Okay, so it's going to fade, it says fade from up. And how long is the animation? Uh, let's say it's one second. Okay, and it's going in. So if I do choose that, then my video will be doing this animation. This is an image. I'm just waiting for the image to come up. And here, you can crop the image. This is my image here. If I choose to crop it, I can use the double-headed arrow and crop it this way. Or I can crop it this way. Or I could crop it by smaller larger. Image resizing options. So do I want to crop to the screen? Oops, sorry. Anything that I choose, I will use the drop down arrow in, in place and out. So the animation will be when it first comes in. It could be while it's in place or it could be as it's leaving the scene and be able to choose animations. Okay, so now layers, when you are talking about your images, your videos, or any other type of media, but with your images, I'm going to choose a couple of more images to show you how this works. Say I choose this image here, and what I do is I just grab that, bring it over and place it on my canvas. So there is my image. It will appear. For this image, to look at the layers. Move the element. So when I get the four-headed arrow here, it means I can move this element. Now, when I talk about the layers here, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. so we have the text on top. I want to move the image up. This is our image. We are in our image, image down there. This is our image here. And icon right here which says notice when you mouse over it and then you just click on that and you only have to click it once it may seem like it's doing nothing but it is working 
Now the image is in front. Now say I chose another image just by clicking into the image and dragging it over. Now because this image is going on top of the other image it's going to ask me do I want to replace the image or do I want to add as a layer. So I'm going to click add as a layer. Now this is a layer and when I click into it you can see the four-headed arrow coming up. If I move it you could see now if you want to use the two images together but you want this one on the bottom and wait until you have the hand with the pointed up finger it will say back and then you click on the back a layer button and it will then move it behind if you want it to move, move behind it, you will then click on the back layer button again and it will move it behind the text. If you feel that you made a mistake use the undo which is right there this is undo so then it will then resort to the last movement until your last save. depends on your bandwidth. Don't forget you are working online. Working online has different variables. One of them is the bandwidth that you're working with and another is how many people are online on this particular program. So you may have to refresh and click it more than once if it doesn't respond. But don't click it more than twice because then you will end up freezing your computer. So now I've just undo, undid what I did before. Now I want to redo it. So I'm going to click on this arrow right here. And this will bring it back to the way that I had it. It works the same with your video. So here, we're just going to remove your image. Once you have, okay, so now I have this video here. I've chosen this. Now it says this video will be added without any watermark. This is important. When you have a free account, a video will have a watermark on it and you can't use it for commercial purposes. You don't have any rights in that. However, when you upgrade and you could, and I created an account and it's, um, they say that it's less than $10, but that's $10 US. So for me, even with the 40% off, it still came to about $16 Canadian, but I think it's well worth it. Okay, so this is the video here. It's telling me this is the description. This is the video. If I choose this video, I will then use the same method, grab, pull. And it will ask me, what would I like to do? Would I like to replace or would I like to add as a layer? I'm going to choose add as a layer. And here it goes into your video trimming. And like I said before, the best thing is to know how long your scene is going to be. Where do you want this video to appear? Where do you want it to start? In your scene. So it's a video inside a video, which is creating engagement, something for people to look at when they're reading your text. And also with the playback speed, 
just gonna make that more and then done. Okay, I've got the video, but you don't see it. Okay, so this is on the canvas. Duration manually before processing further. Okay, so it's not a good idea to add more than one video in your scene. So I'm going to take this, this is my video right here. Added it as a layer. But it's told me that I can't really play it because the two videos can't, can't play either at the same time. So these are my elements here. So I'm going to use the trash can. I've got this one that I've chosen. And I'm going to, to delete that. Okay, so we're very quickly going to just go over the video edit. So here can crop, can trim. Playback speed, video resizing options, crop to screen, stretch to screen. Okay, so now this is important. When you are in the video edit and you choose crop, you can choose the full video, you can choose the one by one, which is for Instagram, you can choose the 16 point by 9, which is for YouTube, or you can choose the 3 by 16, which is for Pinterest. And then when you're done, you just click done. So now this is the video that it's in the back. So I want to make sure that it goes to the back. That's too far back. There we go. Now, when you are using the layers here, going to put this back here okay when you are done you can just click save and this will save your work and take you out of the edit scene and when you're back on your storyboard you will notice something here The first one, the one that you click into, is going to be the one that shows up on your storyboard. Okay, so I've got this now on my storyboard. I'm using a video on this one. This one, I am using an image. You would go through all of your scenes and you would choose your videos and your images. So this concludes this video on the media on using images and video. Join me in the next video in which I will be showing you how to use your script in order for you to be able to create your scenes and use the script that you already have. Thank you for watching this short video tutorial. If you have found it helpful, 
then please give this video a thumbs up because that will show YouTube that you like what I'm doing and they will recommend this video to other people, which in turn will help my channel to grow. And please leave me a comment so that I can follow the link back to your channel and check out your channel, find a video that I like, and subscribe to your channel to help you to grow online. I believe that sharing knowledge is free and I am creating a community of like-minded people who are willing and able to help each other to grow online. I want to put your channel in the DIY affiliate community where you can network with other growing YouTube channels. You can also download the free ebook in which I created for new affiliate marketers. It has over 29 videos and information that you can find very helpful in beginning or starting a new affiliate marketing business. Thank you for your time. Stay safe and have a wonderful evening.